Thank you so much, my good friends. Uh, I'm using Michaela's brain. Uh, it came out really well, fabulous. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Bing, bam, bing, bam, bing, bam, bing. And, and she's got both. Ooh. Okay. So I zoom in. Okay. My good friends, uh, if you know it, you can chime in. Uh, the area that I want to focus on is over here in the posterior part of the brain where you have your pineal gland over here. It's dripping of oil. So you see the pineal gland over here, and she also has the other pineal gland over there, which means she was really central. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, and mine uh, is a bit dark, you can see, uh, but hers is a bit light, and it accentuates things like the corpus callosum. Okay, so uh, so you see how the corpus callosum shows nicely here? Corpus callosum, and then obviously there's the phonix, all right, and this is the thalamus, the hypothalamus, and you can see the optic chiasm on both sides, really nice, okay? And then you can see here the superior colliculus, right? And then you could see here also the inferior colliculus. The inferior colliculus is what I said you could call the corporal quadrigemina. And then underneath, you see the cerebral aqueduct that joins this fourth ventricle to the third ventricle here, right? Okay, and you can see here this dot Anterior commissure. Oh, is it just me? This right here. Bing. Do you see it? That's the anterior commissure. It's a rod like structure. There's a very small rod that joins the left and right cerebral hemispheres. And guess what? She also has the posterior commissure because she was right central. See, the posterior commissure is this vertical that comes from the pineal gland. Okay? The posterior commissure then squiggles into the inferior colliculus or corporal quadrigemina. And then you could see the uh, upper vitae arrangement of the white matter, okay? And then here you could see, obviously, the structure that separates the two chambers of the brain, which is the septum pellucidum. And then you could see over here the uh, fluid-filled chamber, which is the lateral ventricle. Because I said you can never cut it in the middle, the septum pellucidum, because it's so thin. It always goes to one side, okay? Yeah? And uh, so that's it, uh, pretty much. Uh, and then the hypothalamus and the thalamus here, all right? And, and then so I, I, I just wanted to go through the uh, internal structures using just a different brain. So you could just have both of them on there. Um, and, and then I'll mark it, uh, my when I load it, okay? My good friends, thank you.